Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the CJ7 little plushy guy. I did two printouts. I did a 5x7 and I'll, I'll link to the picture that I found on the web so if you can save it and then use the printing wizard on your computer to print out the different sizes. This is how he looks when he does not have power, when his batteries are dead. Um, so that's him with his little thing here, his little antenna. And then I also printed out of the same picture a full page. Like I blew it up and it, I just did a, a full page. And that's how he is as a full page. But I did cut the head off and this to use as a pattern. For the, this will be the body and obviously that's the head. All right, so you have your two pieces of the head and the body cut out. So what you're going to do first, and where's my <coughs> pin cushion? Oh, here we go. You're going to line up the, um, the edge of like the shoulders to the other side of the shoulders, like from here to here, with the flat part of the head. So go ahead and pin that. And then you're going to sew across here. Same thing with both sides. And once you've, once you've sewn it, <clears throat> you're going to have to do the embroidery part before you sew both body pieces together. So hold on. Let me take this off. So like I, how I told you in your materials, in my materials begin at the beginning of the, of, the, of the thing, you're going to need your embroidery floss, right? So with the template that you printed out from the web on your full page, what you wanna do is just kind of scratch out or cut out where the actual eyes are on this, on this thing first. So that way you also have like a little template as to where your eyes are gonna go on the, on the white fabric. Doesn't have to be perfect, just, but just enough so that way you know, okay, this is where I have to position the eyes. And the same with the mouth. Uh, it'll be the perfect shape. So you can get like a black marker since you're gonna be using black, you know, embroidery floss. So just kind of make the line where you're going to have it. See, and I put mine right there. And then do your eyes, both of them. Okay. So now I have it marked where I'm gonna do my um, embroidery floss. And then after, well, I mean, obviously I took this apart, but sew this first, and then once you have it together, then do the embroidery floss, which I'll, I'll show you like a quick video right now of me doing it. And then sew both body pieces, right side to right side together. Sew all around, but leave a little opening somewhere in the top of the head and then we'll go ahead and stuff it with the um, with the, the polyfill okay all right so I have the embroidery floss on here and I'm just gonna come from underneath now I've just realized though I mean mine aren't that perfect but at least I know where the placement is these are a little thick in the middle for these X's <clears throat> so just keep that in mind So I'm gonna do one over. Pretty wide, by the way. So one over and then come back through the center, like go backwards underneath, and then come back through the center of where you did your large stitch. And then go over again and go. See how it's coming along. 
And then I'll do the same thing one more time across the end of this first line. And then I'll come back to the center. Oops. Yeah, and I'll come back to the center. Then I'm gonna go in the other direction. Pretty wide stitches. You don't have to do small ones. This is, you can do it pretty wide. one little eye and then I'm just going to tie it off in the back and follow the same thing for this one and the mouth <clears throat> okay so I finished the embroidery I have both I have right sides together right now and I have it all pinned I'm going to sew all around here and I'm gonna stop somewhere at the you know I'll stop at the top of the head so that way it's it's even all over and then this will be the spot when I turn it inside out that I'll stuff it with polyfill. And also when you sew it, before you turn it inside out, anywhere that has a big or you know a deep curve in it, you'll want to clip the notches. And that's just, you know, let's just say you sew the stitch line is up here. You'll want to just clip it right up until the stitch line. Not into it, don't cut into it, but just up into it so that way when you turn it inside out, it, it it shows the curve of a V-sew. Otherwise, if you don't, it'll just look like it's all bunched up on the outside and it won't look pretty. So you need to do that anywhere that there's a curve. So here, 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 and here. All right, so let me go ahead and do that, flip it out, and then we'll stuff it. So here's my little, my little friend right here. Hey, what's up? So now we're going to stuff him with polyfill until, well, you can't really stuff him anymore. I would concentrate more on the head as far as, you know, trying to max it out to capacity because his head is a little more round and fuller in the, the movie, at least I think, as, as how I remember it anyways. So I'm going to do that, and then afterwards, you just fold this top part in and then we're going to do, you'll, you'll pin it, and then I'll show you how to do the little antenna thing. I'm going to use a pipe cleaner. Um, you could probably have done it out of this, but I just, I just figured I'm, I'm not going to be able to flip out such a thin little narrow piece like the way he has it in the movie. I just need to do, you know, something easier like a pipe cleaner. And I'm going to use this to hang on my rear, my, my rear view mirror. So, I mean, it's not like I have to worry about someone squishing it out of place. So, it'll be fine. All right. So here's our little friend, almost done. I just need to sew that part shut and squish them just a little bit, but he looks cute. So we're gonna go ahead and do the little antenna part. So I have a whole pipe cleaner here. I'm gonna snap off uh, a little less than half. <clears throat> this is going to be the little circle. So I'm going to wrap this around my thumb just to try and get it as circular as possible. And then just kind of twist the ends around it so that way it, it stays. And then thread the other one. Ah! Thread the other one through the bottom, make sure it's even. And 
and then when you got it, then start twisting it. And then we'll have our little thing. I think this is a little too long though, so I am going to trim it. And then I'm going to fit it down the center. And then, and then I'll sew it shut. So my little CJ7's done. I put a little string so that way, you know, you could wear them around the neck. Or in my case, uh, on my rear view mirror. But yeah, I think it came out cute. Oh, he doesn't have life. He's dead. No. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I sewed up here. I just whip stitched it closed. And yeah. And it's there to stay. All right. Sorry, my kid's making a lot of noise. But hope you like it. Hope it's decent enough. And have a good day. Bye-bye.